guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes three and four of Saki. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three in three, two, one, go. Oh, is every episode going to start like this? Oh, shit. Well, damn, we don't care about what's his face. <laughs> we don't care about him because he's a guy. And this is focusing on girls. That's not me. <laughs> Poor Kyo. <laughs> I mean, I hope Kyo gets to have, like, focus. Because he seems like an interesting guy. I mean, damn, but it's like, <laughs> No. <laughs> Yeah, the more I watch this opening, the more I'm getting weak cross vibes from it. And, and that's what it seems like. This is literally, like, it's up with the Mahjong thing. This is literally, if Yu-Gi-Oh and freaking Wee Cross had a baby together, except, you know, it's not cute girls, you know, attacking other cute girls. It's just here, you know, we're playing a game. Being smart, using our wits. Not cheating, but being smart. Yes. Well, she has been doing nothing but playing Mahjong, even online. At least get some sleep. She's still best girl, though. Like, still at times, especially going into episode one, I thought she was going to give me, like, Cinderella vibes. Not really. Because almost every Twin Tail character that I've seen, immediately Cinderella. Sometimes, not all the time. Are we- are, hello? Wait! Saki. Let's talk about her yet, right? Oh, okay, okay. We'll save that by the end of this episode, yes. Mm -hmm. We'll see differently.
You would be napping at this time, honey. The queen's pride. Remind me of that one Netflix show? It, the Queen's Gambit? I I have not seen it! I do want to watch it. One day. Whenever I'm free. Gaming awaits. All on you. Um, our older sister. Hmm? And honestly, you are blooming. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's her. Oh, that is okay. I wonder if her sister is actually going to show up. Not like a flashback, but like modern day, you know, present day, really. So then I'm guessing her sister is a good, <clears throat> maybe I'm guessing number one at Mahjong. I mean, because she's in a magazine. But... And defeated her. Oh, I know so. She's going to play that way regardless. I mean, because that is her thing. you know it's always taco Tuesday you feel like tacos such a niche ma'am you can't become a taco I mean yes tacos are good Let the girls, you know, sit and talk.
<laughs> this is no time to be eating tacos, Yuki. I mean, it makes me want a taco, but I'd rather cook my own taco than eat Taco Bell after watching that one TikTok about the rat poison thing. <laughs> well, looks like you can take away specialties too. I mean, hey, nothing wrong with that. Seriously, when she plays, completely different person. Like, oh my god, we need to give her, like, an alternate name. <laughs> when she is in her zone-ish, like, oh my god. Damn, <laughs> Yuki, what happened? <laughs> like, no, nah, but Yuki, what happened? Because of that, Saki's making herself lose. Oh. She is. Because she's making herself lose. She's making herself lose. Because she's feeling bad. Mm hmm I mean, come on. Nadoka and I both see through that, Saki. I understand that, like, immediately. But baby. Well, third, not bad. But still... doing so well. Nadoka, because of that? <laughs> well, what, what else is it gonna be? Naruka, wait! If you really enjoyed being here, why would you be sad that Yuki lost? It should always be a challenge. You shouldn't be upset if someone loses.
Oh, that girl. Okay, did she do something to her eye? Oh, that's cute. Well, hold up. We got a guy to do, do a Mahjong? Oh, okay. Cute and smart. The best thing. Like literally also watching this it makes me still want to watch that maid show that aired last year that i was gonna watch maybe i'll still react to it we'll see maybe i'll ask you guys on friday <clears throat> Is that a guy right there? Looks like a guy, but you just can't tell. Because you felt bad for Yuki. Mm -hmm. I get that, but still, you can't be upset just because someone lost. It happens. That's quote for I love you. <laughs> There you go. You want to go to Nationals, right? Bloom, right? Okay, hold up. Time out. What did she mean by that? Her sister is, is going to be basically at nationals. Why would your sister be angry at you, though? Is Teddy the one who did it? Or well, besides Safi?
<laughs> no, we're doing a pinky promise. Aww. That's cute. Okay, now kiss. Because, I mean, seriously. Are we going to see her sister? Not her back, but her, like, her actual face today? Okay, so whoever that girl was, who I'm guessing was talking to the president, there, there's a different type of thing. So, you know, you have Mahjong, where you play with the high school girls, where it's like, yes, let's play for fun and tournaments and, you know, uh, bragging rights and such. And then you got this girl right here who's in a room with a whole bunch of other adults. And we gambling for some money. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I completely understand in the moment of why Saki is like, you know, Yuki was over here feeling hella upset about the fact that she lost and, you know, went, almost wanted to cry and everything. So, of course, yes, I understand why Saki is like, she feels some type of way. Um, My baby was like, I'm going to pretend to lose. I'm going to make myself lose. Like, I okay, I get that, but honey... As I said in the episode, I'm going to say it again. You cannot let people's feelings get in your way of winning. The most important thing, there's two things, two important things, having fun and winning. That's it. That's all. Having fun and winning, best things. You don't want to make winning your number one priority because you're going to lose yourself in the gist of that. You know, you're all you're going to think of is winning and you don't want to do that. That's a big... Big no no. <laughs> See, I also feel like Kill has a crush on Nautica. But I mean because you already I already shipped Nautica with a uh, Saki, so I'm like, uh uh, no, it can't work. Even as I said, because today's Wednesday, so um watching uh the magical revolution and between yuffie and Ilya, and i was like oh they're cute too i can kind of ship them too and i'm like well oh hey you know Ilya, i'm i'm not Ilya. yuffie you can have the best of both worlds and have two girlfriends like come on now <laughs> but i still feel like kyo has feelings towards saki so yes saki you can also have the best of both worlds too you can be like, hi, my name is Saki, this is my boyfriend Kyo, and this is also my girlfriend, Nadoka. <laughs> and everybody's happy. But then, yeah, I mean, because like, mm. see, that's a good question, because then if, you know, you have a boyfriend and a girlfriend, do they need to also be boyfriend and girlfriend with each other? I mean, you're dating both, and they're both dating you, so wouldn't they also have to date each other? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, you're all dating each other. Best of both worlds. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, this is really sweet. I love the fact that, you know, I, I completely understand why Nadoka got upset. I think if I was in her... <laughs> Excuse me. If I was in her shoes, yes, I would, I would be upset about it too. Because of the fact is, you know... Going into episode one of last week, episode one and two of last week, and how Saki played versus how she just played in this episode, of course I would be upset about that. Be like, okay, hold up. You're, you've gone one way, you've played like this one way, and now you're playing like this only because someone's feelings. You can't let feelings get in your way. Because if you do that, then every game that you do, you're not making it. You're not doing it like it's your 100. You're, you're blah, 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 I cannot speak. You're not putting your all into it. You're kind of half-assing it. And that's not the greatest thing that you want to do. You always want to put 
not only a hundred, but at least a hundred and fifty to two hundred, go all out on it and always do your best. And so in that moment, I can see why Nautica was like, okay, you know what? I'm going home because Saki isn't playing like how she normally plays. And so, like I said, she's a completely different person when, you know, not when the odds are against her, but when she is like in her moment and in her zone and stuff. And like I said, we're going to have to find a nickname for that because Jesus, girl, damn. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. Check something real quick. She wanted to see your sister, right? One other thing I want to say. I didn't say it in the previous episode, but I think I'm going to say it a little bit more like now right here and then probably at the end. Okay, the situation on Tenu and Saki and more of their family. So they, they divorced, but they're not technically divorced. So then what? Well, the typical family thing. I don't think it was cheating. So maybe it had to be they both fell out of love with each other and they just wanted to be one. Or it could have been something with Majan. There's something else there. And who knows? Maybe we'll find the truth about that. But it does suck that, you know, Saki doesn't really have the greatest relationship with her sister. Um, hopefully we find that out soon on why. Because I have a lot of questions on that. Because, oof, ma'am. Gotta know the drama. <laughs> But something tells me we're not going to see her sister until like the final episode of season one and then going on to season two, which is nationals. That's when she's going to pop up and then she'll have more of an appearance between season two and season three. I'm guessing. Gay. You know, <laughs> researchers will say they were really good friends. Yes. Oh, and she home. That's so cute. Oh, that's why I put them as like the thumbnail. I was like, okay. Even though this is a sports show, it's still a romance anime. It's still a Yuri. So come on now. They're the stars of the show. They're going to get together by the end of this.
Mm, last week or in the previous episode. <laughs> you keep too. <laughs> Of course, tacos is here. <laughs> you didn't want to grab anything else? Oh, babies. Wives. They're not girlfriends. They're wives. Oh my god. <laughs> not really, you know. Are, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean figures cause you know hey you gotta love the sport more than the guy are you okay oh even though <laughs> We're going into tournament arc! I really, you know what, hold on, no wait. Pay tournament arc! Choir players! Yay! Of course you will, Tacos. Yeah, I'm just going to call Yuki Tacos now. <laughs> Excuse me. No. Oh, damn. Second years.
Because, you know, Taco can't go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, she did. you well it'll be a good experience well because it's a May cafe That's really the reason why. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course she is. I mean, it's All right, Saki, go ahead and kick some ass. No tacos. No. Of course she is. Yeah, the girl from, you know, the end of the previous episode. Ooh, that energy aura. Oh. -ho.
Do we have to focus on the thighs? Oh my god. <laughs> Once again, I'm not the target demographic, but this, I bet you the guys who were watching the show when it came up were like, oh my god. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Me, I'm over here like, okay. <laughs> no, but if it was a guy's thighs, like, yes, guys, yes. Huh. No, no, Saki. Mm-mm. Because she planning something. And not anymore, baby. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, good job, student council president, because you had a shaking like a leaf for Saki. Right down there, but like, hey, you know what? It's time to wrap it up. I'm going home. No, Saki, don't say that. You really wanted to, you could defeat a pro. Oh no wait, eighteen rounds. Jesus. The girl The girl in the other episode that we just saw? Excuse me? You got defeated by a little girl. Oh my god.
No, Saki, don't say that. You're going to nationals. Remember, you're main character. You're all main characters. And you have main character energy. Right? If Nadoka says we're going and I say you're going, you're going. You want to see your sister, don't you? Remember why you're doing this. Not only because you have a you know, <laughs> like-love relationship with Mahjong, but really for your sister. To have a better relationship with her. She read the whole book, damn. Well, what are you doing here so late? Now, is this training camp for everyone or just these two? Mm hmm Okay, good, good. Okay, but having the pro come in and kick the ass. I mean, it takes, like, really, uh, okay, Kasaki isn't like this. Nadoka, maybe, like, you know how when somebody is, like, really, really good and every match that they have, like, it boosts their ego and they feel like a high horse. So, in a way, like, the pro kicked that high horse ego that Nadoka has on herself. But the fact that a 15-year-old, a first year, who was now a second year, kicked the pro's ass. What? Like if, you know, this hasn't happened to me. I ha I've no okay. But I've, I know people that this has happened to. But you're playing Mario Kart or something. And like, <laughs> your younger brother, sister, whoever, they end up beating you. And, and you're like, how the heck you, you won? Like, I kicked your behind how many times? And you now won? But either you don't want to do things. You're either letting them win or, you know, you just... On whatever round you were, you just sucked. And that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, typically me, when I play Mario Kart with my friends or with any... Well, when I do worldwide, I'm good. I ain't the greatest, but I'm still good. When I play with my friends, I end up kicking their ass. I, I always end up kicking their ass. tacos I can't. <laughs> I can't with tacos but okay um one thing I, I do like the fact that Kyo going back into the previous episode now into this one like Kyo has like the biggest crush on Natoka and such but like I said it's still there's still like this cute little chemistry between him and Saki so once again all three of them could date they could but I need the Yuri I do. So let Nandoka and Saki date at the end of this episode. <laughs> not the episode series. But the final episode of this show, not not the 26 episodes, not the nationals, the final season, final episode, let them date. Let it be confirmed that they dated and they got married and ish. And that, you know, Saki's older sister walked her down the line, <laughs> down the aisle to get married. But, um, yeah, going on more into Tedu. As I said, I felt like in the end, she's not going to pop up 
until the final episode. Like right now, she is just this mysterious figure that we only really get to see the back of her. We're never really truly going to see the front of her until we get closer and closer to nationals and such. So she is going to be like this. How can I say this? Like, hmm, there's other ways that I can say, okay, so I'll go in idle terms on this. Okay. So, you know, whoever like looking at, if you've seen idol master, if you've seen idol master, Cinderella girls, um, love live, any, any love live, any, if you've seen Aikatsu or pretty Pada, you know how, who, whoever is like, the goat idol the greatest of all time like the the high the high paying idol that all the other idols try to be like they're like the god of the idol world of their show and sometimes they make little appearances in like for Aikatsu, uh the 52 episode 50 52 episode series or like for Idol Master Cinderella Girls, Kaede was in maybe about, for the 26 episode series, maybe about five or four episodes. I don't know. It's been like a hot minute since I've sat down and rewatched Cinderella Girls. Or um, the guys of OG Idol Master, how they were like literally just top idols in their show. They appeared in it like one or two before their spinoff and such. So it feels like Teru is going to be very similar to that, where it's like, okay, she is like the number one top and such, and maybe she might be in little pieces, especially when we get closer and closer to not and nationals, how she might even be at qualifiers whenever we do get to qualifiers and such, but more, she's going to be there like a shadow. We're not officially going to see her until we get to nationals and such, but she will be there lingering around and such you know making sure and watching certain characters and she might even recognize her own sister but not really let me walk up to my sister and such interestingly it was also very different to see how saki was with a pro and how she compared it to being playing with her sister so her, no matter what her sister has this like aura or energy that scares the crap out of Saki. And so that could be another reason on why um, she said she never really liked Mahjong and stuff and would always, you know, play to kind of lose and such. Um, I think with Teru, from what we're hearing from Saki and then, well, mainly from Saki, kind of maybe others in a little bit of a way, that Saki is one of those types of people who plays for a challenge. She plays to win, you know, regardless. Like, this is how she does. She she feels like anyone who is not trying, like, mm -mm, get the F out of my way. Like, fuck you. Like, nah. Like, she will degrade them in a way. And I could be wrong about it. This is just, like, a pre-assumption of how I'm getting interpreted as her character, even though she's not really here yet. I feel like, you know, once we get later on into the series and we officially meet Teru, Teru could be a completely different person, but because of the way how Saki was like, sh like physically staking with the pro, and she's like, this is so similar to when I would play with my sister. Oh, her sister must be on like a next freaking level possibly. So it does make me really excited to whenever and uh, like I said, nationals, whenever Saki and her sister do go against each other, because I think that will be like the battle of ages that will like, <laughs> I'm going to say it now, but probably even when we get to it, I will probably compare it to it. So as of right now, it will literally be like the Yu-Gi-Oh of their match. It'll be like, you know, Yugi versus Pegasus or Yami Yugi versus regular Yugi or Yugi versus Kaito. No, wrong one. Kaiba. <laughs> Too many fucking names in my head. Um, Yugi versus uh, Boku, Bo Bokura? Bokura. Um, Yugi versus, um, 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 oh my God. What the hell is his name? What is his name? Oh my God. I know it. I don't remember his name. Oh my god. Shit. Oh. What? It starts with an M. Map? Me? I, mm, no, fuck it. I'm looking it up. I gotta look it up. Hold on. Let's see. 
I know his freaking name. M-A... A picture of me. Is that him? Mark! There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, th this, like, comparing those, all those battles to that, like, it, it might be top fucking tier. I have no idea. But I, I feel like I'm going to get goosebumps when they go against each other. So who freaking knows? Like, until we get to that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes three and four of Saki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Saturday for Patrons and next Monday for everybody else, but also for me in a way because I'm going to be smart with this series and um, Nadoha. I'm going to also try. I'm going to be stupid and, you know, once again, smart. My my thing is, especially with these two, because they are both long, I'm going to try to watch two episodes every single week. So two one, even though today's Wednesday, I'm supposed to do this on Monday. So, you know, every Monday and every Friday for myself for the next two episodes. But I will see you guys all officially next time for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.